Okay, so I've talked about how I ran cross country and track and whatever, but running camp, I honestly, I didn't think I was going to go, but my mom last minute was like, oh no, we're going. And so it's a week in North Carolina, um, in the same small city where my uh, grandparents' cabin is, so you know, where we actually have fun, but um, nope, running this week. So first of all, I'm already depressed because I know it's... Like, they send you the itinerary or whatever. I'm using big fancy words. I know itinerary is not fancy. Shut up. Um, I mean, it's kind of fancy, but whatever. So, I see, wake up at 5.40, um, get to the running trail at 6 or 6.30, and then run for about 6.30 to, um, well, pretty much till you die. So, and then, it's whatever. So, we're hopping the car. I'm already depressed, right? I don't want to go to this. I know it's going to suck. I'm not. See, so yeah, this, I wasn't the big, I wasn't big, ah, I never liked running, alright, I've never liked cardio, now, like, I, I don't even do cardio anymore, I just do straight weights, but whatever, that's not the point of running camp, um, so we're in the car, we drive 10 hours, we get there, and it's on, we pull up to this place, and it has a stone wall, and you get there, and there's a little plaque thing said, made in, like, 1377, you know, back in the Middle Ages, you get there, and it's this, <laughs> it it's just this super long building, right? There's nothing to it. It's just a super long building. And one half is the guy's side, the other half is the girl's side. So, you know, we go. And my best friends, are, like, everyone's already there. My best friend's there. And we walk in there. And we, like, you know, we're putting our sheets on and whatever. We're, ha- you know, we're actually having a good time. Um, My coach gets there. My coach wasn't a, uh, how do you say, fun-loving dude. He was very, you know, strict. Let's do this. Let's do this. Let's do this. Um, you know, straight to the point. Um, not the most fun person. And he was very strict on the rules, but, like, super strict. But it's whatever. So, once everyone gets there, and, you know, we're just having a good time. My coach brings everyone into the main room, like, where the kitchen is. The kitchen and a pool table with no pool balls or pool sticks. So, he has us all in there, and he's telling us, you know, here's all, here's the rules. He's giving the rules. No phones from, I think it was... See, it's been a couple of years. I think it was no phones from 10 to, and then you could use them at 4 p.m. again. So, pretty much no phones the entire time. And you weren't allowed to, like, go on Snap or anything. Or, you know, people obviously did for streaks or whatever. Like, you weren't allowed to, you weren't allowed to like, stay on it and, like, scroll or whatever. Like, watch YouTube or anything. So, and he didn't want you to have them in the cars either. Like, he wanted you to be talking to your, well, track mates or actually cross-country mates because it's cross-country camp it's not a good time is what it is but we're listening to him talk for like 45 minutes he's like all right you know you can go explore because we're on like eight acres of just straight trees um there's a ropes course that ev- everyone was super excited for this ropes course except for me because i don't like heights but we'll get to that in a second so i'm walking around with the vars not everyone went only High school, my brother went, so I said one, two, three, four, five, six. There were six high schoolers, and then me, my best friend. And well, actually, there's a couple of us middle schoolers. Like my whole my school middle, dude, I can't talk. My middle school friend group, we all went, and you know, it was a good time. Uh, we're just walking around the eight acres. You know, we're having fun, and we get up and we're like, we're like 15 minutes from the cabin at this point. We're walking on these trails. And there's a upside down cross with a bunch of like, <laughs> like branches all around it. It was so creepy up there, because it's it's not pitch black because you know the sun's out, but it's like the there's the trees above it are super thick, and there's an upside down cross which is just, and it's on top of a little hill too. So it's not just like, it's so it's it's pretty sketchy, all right. It's pretty weird. There's usually not just upside down crosses places, but we're like all right, wh- whatever I guess. So. <laughs> We go back, we tell my coach, and he's like, well, just don't go back there. We're like, all right, I mean, guess he's got a point. So, whatever. We're chilling. And he's like, well, let's go on a night run. And the second those words came out of his mouth, I honestly, I was like, oh, it's going to be that. It's going to be this type of week. It's going to be awful. And so, it's whatever. We go for the night run. It was awful. Well, you know, cross country is weird because, um, well, most people who do it love running. Um, I did not, I, you know, I did it because my brother did it and all my friends did it. So, you know, we're running, blah, blah, blah. And it's, we finish, we get back 
and we have pasta because that's a big like that's a big uh cross country thing pasta and it's because it has carbs but i can think of plenty of other foods with lots of carbs but whatever i don't know maybe i honestly don't know but my I mean, pasta is super high in carbs but like i can think of like pizza high in carbs but whatever um we eat the pasta when it's time for bed and my coach leaves to get like he went to the grocery store to get water or whatever and so it's just the guys and the girls are in there doing but we got we're all there we have no no per, no one in charge over in the guy's side so one of the high schoolers gets a bag of gummy bears and starts throwing them full force at people so we started a gummy bear fight right so People are screaming, the gummies will fly. We're throwing gummy bears at each other. People, some of these gummy bears are getting stuck to the walls. They're somewhere on the roof. People are getting hit like to the point where they're bruising from gummy bears. So we're, we're just chucking them at each other. And someone got hit in the eye. And it, well, they didn't get, well, getting hit in the eye with a gummy bear doesn't feel nice. Right, so they're, uh, you know, they're holding their eye. My coach comes back. He, he lets, like, he just... He was not having it. He goes off on us. Talent, you know, yo, you guys are way too old for your ears. Blah, blah, blah. He goes off on us. He goes back to the main room. Starts talking to, I honestly don't know who he went to talk to. But he went to the main room. And, you know, he's like, killing up these gummy bears. Which, you know, that is, it's reasonable. We definitely, sh- you know, needed to clean up the gummy bears. <laughs> so we clean up the gummy bears. Oh, I don't know if I mentioned this. I don't think I did. But this is like in the middle of the woods. I know I said it was on like eight acres, but it's in the middle of the woods, eight acres. It's in the middle of nowhere in North Carolina. So, on a mountain, because, you know, it's North Carolina where there's mountains. So, you know, he's like, pick up the going bears so, like, no animals or whatever. And pick up the going bears so no one steps on them, right? Um, that whole week, we were finding gummy bears in, like, our bags. There's gummy bears stuck under people's beds. There's, like, in people's blankets. It was pretty funny. I'm not even going to lie. It was pretty funny. Um, but we run the whole week, and... We go to a trail, which is a mountain that I have hiked hundreds of times with my family. We get there, and we pull. So usually you go right when you get there, right, to go up the hiking trail. But we went left on the road, and I didn't know what was over there. Well, it was this part of the mountain that pretty much goes straight up. All right, so I'm looking at this, and I'm like, oh, oh, it's gonna be one of the, it's gonna be one of them type of runes. So we start running. And <laughs> running up hills is a lot different than running on the flat concrete of Florida. So, I'm, dude, I'm walking. Like, I'm out of breath. And my coach is running behind me. Stop walking. Start running. And he, I'm like, all right, you know, I'm a little lightheaded. He's like, oh, you're lightheaded? Oh, you can walk for a second. You can walk. Runs off. Just completely leaves me, by the way. Like, shouldn't you stay with someone who's lightheaded? But whatever. Because there's people, like, people's parents came and they were walking to make sure no one died, pretty much. Um, but I'm running, and I get to the part of the hill, like the mountain part that's straight up. Right, my buddies are behind me because I'm faster than they are. <laughs> uh, that sounded different than it meant to. Whatever. So I know they're behind me. So I know if like I fall or whatever, they're gonna be right behind me. But dude, this thing's like straight up. So I'm going up it, and I'm not having a good time. Right, I'm out of breath. <laughs> I'm pretty much sounding like I'm having a seizure. I am. We're going, running up it, and I start walking, dude, because I'm I'm about to die. Like, I'm dying up here. My buddies catch up to me. They're like, oh. So I stick with them. We run. We get to the top. Run back down. And people are falling, going down. It's pr- I'm not even going to lie. If I fell, I probably would not think it was funny. But I wasn't one of the people who fell. So I thought it was pretty funny. But people are falling. And I th- actually, no. That same day was the day we were going on the ropes course. So people's legs are bloody or whatever. So we get to the uh, ropes course, which I was not really looking forward to. Right? I'm like, all right, whatever. Let's do this. And I get put in a group because if you're in middle school, because the ropes course is two layers. If you're in middle school, you have to be on the bottom layer because I don't know reasons. But if you're high school, you can be on the top. So I'm on the bottom layer. And also if you're in middle school, because we didn't have enough people. You needed six. We had three. Um, Because the other middle schoolers, like my other friend group, they left early. And so we're like, all right, you know, it was just three of us, so we're doing it, but we need six people. So we get t- three dads, and one of them was my buddy's dad, and two of them were the girls' dads. So I, we, 
So my best friend and my buddy who we were up there with, they were super excited to go. And I'm like, oh, I don't really like heights, but let's do this, right? They get up there, and I'm the last, like, it's it's my buddy, his dad, my best friend, one of the girl's dads, and it's my turn to go up. So I climb up the, like, pirate ship rope thing, like the Met, you know what I'm talking about? It's on, like, American Ninja Warrior or whatever. I climb up it, I get up there, and my best friend and my buddy are pouring just like they're bawling, they're crying. They're like, "Well, we want to go down, but you can't go back down that way. You got to go across." So, and the rope course isn't it's not like crazy hard, but you're not allowed to touch your um safety harness thing or the ropes. You're supposed to build teamwork or whatever. So, they're they're freaking out, you know, they're crying. And so there's also a guy dude up there to make sure you don't like mess up bad. And I look to him, I'm like, "How long does this usually take?" And this dude looks at me with a straight face and says about 4 hours. Dude, I wanted to cry. I'm like, F- are you? I thought he was kidding. I was like, are you serious? He's like, no, I'm being dead serious. So we're up there, and let's just say, um, uh, my t- my best friend and my buddy we were up there with were not having like, dude, they're balling. They're having a terrible time. But we make it halfway through, and they give us water, and they're still freaking out, right? It's been like two hours, and they're still freaking out, and I'm just going, right? I'm like, I'm not stopping. I'm just. I'm trying to, like, speed run this thing. Call me Dream. Um, and I did one fast, and the guy, dude, the guy we were up there, he, was like, he pulls me aside. He's like, hey, by pulls me aside, I mean, like, just turns us around. Because uh, where are we supposed to go up there? But he turns me around. He's like, hey, I'm going to need you to slow down a little bit because, like, well, you're way ahead of them. They're, they're freaking out. Let's go back for them. So we go back two course things and start helping them with teamwork, whatever. We make it across. They're they're like, oh, we don't, we're never doing that again. Um, but yeah, I was the only one who even, I guess you could say somewhat enjoyed it, but I didn't enjoy it at all. But yeah, I'm gonna have to do a part two because I don't know how I just did this for 12 minutes. But uh, running camp, also known was not a very good time for anyone.